people are probably going to be a little bit mad because people are patiently <laughs> yeah, waiting for yeah. the land for a very long time. Yeah, I totally agree. But then again, you do know how Axie Infinity loves surprises. So we will never, yeah. <laughs> you will never know. Like we're all, always usually caught off guard by, you know, by the Axie devs. But I mean, speaking about, you know, speaking about like the Axies, like check out Andrew Void's front yeah. right here. He does have, a, a, is this wooden stab? Yeah, that's the card I was talking okay, about. Okay, okay, so it's my a very strong card. Okay, my bad. I uh, wooden stab, wooden stab, wooden stab. Okay, so my bad. Wooden stab is actually a plant card, so I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. It's not a beast card. I was thinking of a. Uh, I think I was thinking of timber, but I mean wooden stab, oh, okay. one hundred twenty percent damage. Hmm. Plus sticky goo and gas. I mean, I think I'm not quite sure what he's trying to do here. I mean, uh, Axie kiss. I mean, maybe. <sighs> But again, mm. you know, Andrew Void, Andrew Void tried and tested. This guy knows what he's doing, but I'm really excited to see what he's going to be doing with his front line right here. Um, Not too sure in... about the back, uh, back line of uh, Andrew Void. I don't know what he's doing with the back line. I mean, I guess we're going to be seeing that in action, like in a few seconds right there. Prathap going in for the double damage buff from the Cuckoo. Now... Andrew Void mid, I mean Andrew Void's front line only with Gas Unleashed. I want to see what he's gonna be doing with Axie Kiss. Can't I wait. think his thinking is like trying to protect uh, the uh, mid Aqua uh, from the Shimpinator or something. Maybe that's what that's, that's why true. he's kind of protecting it. That's your now. Ooh, now we have Andrew Void's backliner. <laughs> We kind of forgot about him. <laughs> Jar Barrage yeah. with, with the juggling balls. Ooh, nice. I mean, he does have tiny catapult right there. I really don't like the juggling balls oh. uh, card. It's quite weak. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of guys using it against plants just because, you know, like it does give you, it does give you three hits. Um, it's actually, in my opinion, it's actually not that bad just because it also gives you shield. I mean, beast cards are known yeah. for not having almost any shield, but I mean, <laughs> in this season, it made a lot of sense for competitive players to use, but I, I I totally agree with you. I'd rather see the Twin Needle. I'm not convinced with Jar Brudge, but many people, many pro players are using it, so I guess that's the way, man. Yeah, it's because it negates all the damage, right? So people like to use it sometimes. Dude, I mean, there you go. It hurts, dude. The 50 damage. 50 damage per tick, and now perhaps all three axes are poisoned. His backline in trouble. On the other hand, he's going to be taking but, out. But, but I like the fact that he's he's using those uh, axes before they go down. That's how you play. Exactly. You, now, you take every last ounce of value that you can get out of the game. I totally agree. Totally agree. I mean, Andrew Void taking out two cards. Prathap going in in the next round with four with five cards plus four energy. Still saving one last energy for any utility that's going to be needing if he makes it through the next round. But I think Andrew Void, will he be taking the W in this round of round seven? Yeah, it's going to be very close. 38. It's going to be very close. A triple 38, Let's I see think. What I think it's not going to be enough. Or is it? Or is it? Yes, it is! Yes, oh, it's, it it's is. enough. It's enough. Wow. Just enough. All he has to do is survive now. Wow. And, and the wall is down. And the wall 